Hello and welcome friends, welcome to another unboxing episode. I just received this package from the post office. It contains or it should contain three fountain pens. I paid a total for them including the shipment 270 lays or 54.60 euros or 62.43 American dollars and I'm quite excited to open it. You will see among them a great, great nib, a gold nib, a German nib made by the famous Degusa producer. You probably don't know, but I'm searching for a gold Degusa nib for a long, long time. And finally, the stars aligned and I had the opportunity to buy this wonderful, wonderful pack. So without further delay, I have here the great scissors and I'm going to cut it like this. Okay, so this is the content of the pack. We don't have other stuff in it. Here it is. <laughs> it's nice to see how they pack them. This time it contains some uh, peanuts with uh, chocolate around them. <laughs> Let me see guys. Okay. So it's in this pouch. And this is the... Um, the little pack i won't need it anymore so probably i would just use brute force to open it like this and yes here they are guys let me see so oh nice I wasn't expecting this. I think these are some fountain pens without cap, but I certainly didn't order these fountain pens. I hope it is not a mistake from the seller. Or maybe those are like a gift from him. I don't know. We will see in a minute, guys. So here I don't have nothing. Yes, I think that those are the fountain pens that I ordered and uh, the other ones are a gift from the seller. I'm not so sure. We will see in a minute, guys, because sincerely, I made all this purchase only for one fountain pen and uh, on that fountain pen because of its name. So yes, those are the three fountain pens that I ordered. I guess that the other three are a bonus from the seller. Let's start with the free ones because they were free and uh, free of charge. Let me zoom on it to see the nib. Yes, it's a generic nib, nothing uh, written on it. No iridium tipping, no made in Germany. I guess I like this uh, ink window here. So, no cap on this fountain pen, but let me see. Oh yes, quite, quite a nice, decent metallic barrel. This is a plastic part. It can sure, certainly, it can be used with the ink cartridges and I think it, you can also adapt an ink converter to it. Quite, quite a nice looking piece. A shame that it doesn't have it's cap so i will put this aside let's move on to the other one another generic nib with no imprints on it i like this ma black mate finish to the fountain pen it's quite a slim fountain pen and if i unscrew the barrel we can see a ink cartridge fitted to it judging by it it could be an italian uh, cartridge because this certainly doesn't uh, it reminds me of an aurora cartridge so quite quite nice that 
This slim fountain pen comes with that cartridge because it can always be reused by filling it with a syringe. And another one with a nice, nice finish, this green finish to it, quite, quite nice. Also a generic nib, and let me see if this has also the ink cartridge. Yes, this is, appears to be a small international size ink cartridge. So thank you, thank you, many thanks for the seller for including this in the package. So this was a surprise for me. Okay, now guys, let me show you what I bought. First of all, I have this fountain pen. It's interesting, uh, we have two, three gold-plated rings and on the thicker one we have Regia Gold engraved on it. I think it has the clip broken. It has a little crack here on the cap and if I unscrew it, we can see an ink window And guys, this is what I was talking about. This logo is from the Gusa 14 karat 585 gold nib. I don't know if it has flex, but I hope it has. Look at it, guys. <whistles> wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So I paid only for this fountain pen 170 lace which means I paid 34.38 euros or 39.31 American dollars. So I must confess to you, I paid all that sum of money. In fact, all I paid for the whole pack for uh, approximately 55 euros or 63 American dollar just for this beautiful, beautiful gold nib. And I have it and I'm quite proud to have it in my collection, guys. A beautiful German gold nib. The other pens I bought because they have some vintage aspect to them, but you will see that they are not fitted with gold nibs. I like the way that this fountain pen is um, built. I suspect it's from the 1930s or the 1940s. It has a personalization here by the previous owner, a W and a T. Quite, quite simple. Let me see. Yes, an ink window and a steel German nib. It's a Bock nib, if I'm not mistaken, with that deer that um, jumps through that rocks, iridium, on it. Quite, quite nice. Look at this feeder. And um, it's certainly, yes, I guess it's a piston filler. Let me see if it works. Oh, it has this blind cap and no, it has some problems with the piston filler, but certainly I believe a um, vintage German fountain pen from the 1930s or the 1940s or it could be from uh, the 1950s because you can see it has the, those rounded shapes like a cigar so maybe it follows the trend of the 1950s let's put this aside by the way guys this cost me only 50 lace or 10.11 euros or 11.56 american dollars and I have the last one over here. This seemed to be quite, quite a modern fountain pen, maybe from the 1970s or from the 1980s. It reminds me of the reform German fountain pen, but on the cap we have Flaminaire, maybe a French model. I will open it and we can see this multifaceted window. The nib is only gold plated. We have iridium point on it. Quite, quite a nice looking nib. And I'm curious to see if the piston is working. So it should work. Yes, it works. Like you see, 
It certainly reminds me of Refer Phantom Pen from the 1980s. Again, I paid for these guys only 50 lays, which means I paid around 10.11 euros or 11.56 American dollars. So, quite, quite a nice purchase. I was able to get finally that the Gusanib in my collection. I want to thank the seller for including in this package those three fountain pens without the caps, but they are welcome to my collection. And I will certainly do some reviews of them on my channel. Why not? Even though I don't have, uh, I don't think I have uh, spare parts for them. Maybe in time I will find them some caps but they are well as they are and i think they certainly can write thank you for your time guys this was my unboxing i wish you all to have a great day wherever you are if you've enjoyed this unboxing please subscribe to my channel to support my activity i will see you again at the next episode till then bye bye and god bless